We have to talk, we have to talk this time about the Mate 50 Pro and yeah, the rumors and reports that Google Play services are in one way or another back again here. So what is it about that people are talking Lighthouse and GMS back on Mate 50 Pro? Let's find it out. So we are talking about the Mate 50 Pro that I have here. I have the Chinese version here with Harmony OS, but it doesn't really matter. So what is this Lighthouse app that people were talking about to get Google services back on their phone? This is basically an adapted version of the open source movement or the open source project called MicroG, which is like yeah, ages old already, which tries to re-implement Google mobile services as an open source version and this version has been adapted so there's like the assistant that asks you to disable power management for example for the huawei mate 50 pro and is apparently yeah now available on the malaysian app gallery as you know huawei has different localized versions of the app gallery and one of them is the malaysian one and the malaysian one has now this app called lighthouse which is nothing more than a fancy name for a micro g fork that does exactly what micro g does micro g for huawei devices actually does it allows you to create a google account to log into your google account via the micro g services and then you have a google account on your device that yeah usually none of the google apps by default recognize because google has some extra checks and balances that they added to their applications so if you download a google application or have already a google application on your mate 50 pro or p50 pro or other supported devices i think they all have to run at least emotion ui 12 then you're out of luck because it's not recognized also when you think ah i can just use aurora store or i can use apk pure to download the google apps to just run them here you are out of luck it's not working because Huawei has like some things here missing on their devices still, especially the Google mobile framework that is completely missing. And also the spoofing algorithm that can like tell the applications, yeah, I am the unique, I am the right Google Play services is not built into Huawei devices. So what those developers of Lighthouse maybe or others were doing is editing the official Google applications, the APK files, editing them in such a way that they are able to run with micro G or in this case Lighthouse to log in to the basic services. This is one of the reasons why you not find all of the Google applications on the Malaysian app gallery, but only certain Google applications like for example youtube and google chrome as well as google maps and then they are working with the google account but you need those specific apk files otherwise it's not going to work and this is currently only working on the malaysian app store the malaysian app gallery it's not working outside of the malaysian app gallery at least i could not make it run on my mate 50 pro and my p50 pro uh, Mate 30 Pro and all other devices that I tried it out on. P50 Pocket even that I tried it out on. it, So it's not going to work. So how do I get Google services going? Is there any other possibility? Yeah, of course, I heard about GSpace. Probably you too. GSpace, Dual Space and all those various different names for basically doing the same thing, running a virtual machine or a containerized Google Play services on your Android phone to run applications. There's now a new application out there that's using the same technology, but highly optimized for running on Huawei devices. And it's also open source. It's not using any ad or any payment method that you need to do to run this application. And this one is called Gbox. And I have it already installed here on I thought I had it installed here on my device. Let me search for Gbox here. I 
think I don't have it installed on the Mate 50 Pro actually. I thought I had it installed on the Mate 50 Pro, but I have the P50 Pocket here. And here I definitely have it. And the cool thing about this uh, G-Box application is this is how it looks like. You have already everything that you need as a Huawei user. So for example, the Google Play Store is already there. The only thing that you have to do is like long press and then you have the option to create a shortcut as well for the Google Play services. And after you created this shortcut for the Google Play services, you can just, you have this icon here, Google Play services, you can just click on it. It will launch very quickly, as you can see here, the Google Play service is a lot quicker than Gspace that is like suspending everything and nothing's working. And then you can just install your applications. And after the application is installed, it's even asking, should I create a shortcut for you? You click on add shortcut and then you have a shortcut on your home screen for this application. And this allowed me to yeah, add the shortcut, for example, for uh, YouTube sh Studio here that you can see and uh, various other applications, just like, for example, I think I also have like the eBay app that usually requires for login, uh, Google Play services and such things. So I have them all installed. Also, I could install Google Maps for having all my bookmarks there as well if I like to do this. So this is one application that I recommend um, because it is working on all devices, on Emotion UI 12 devices, on Harmony OS 3 devices, on this, on this, on almost all devices that don't have Google Play services, just like the Huawei devices, but even Honor devices that don't have Google Play services are running with those. So this is the application that I would recommend right now, a better alternative to Gspace and also a better alternative for now for Lighthouse because I'm a bit skeptical that Lighthouse will yeah, prevail. The thing is, if they are depending really on this edited Google application and they are in the app gallery, then Google could go and say, we are not allowing this. And it's probably not allowed by Google and then Google will yeah, cut it off and then it's uh, gone. Um, so the real only possibility would be that Huawei opens up eventually a uh, possibility to enable spoofing on their devices and then we could use normal micro G and the official Google applications to at least have like YouTube and Google Maps running on uh, the devices. But I'm not sure if Huawei is really interested in this. And I'm not so sure how long this Lighthouse application will be there still in the store and if it will grow outside of Malaysian uh, app gallery to the European market, for example, or other app gallery markets that we have on uh, Huawei's app gallery. So this is everything, a short little video to yeah, summarize the current situation because there are tons of videos coming out there, especially from the Malaysian uh, folks, I can understand this, of course, but also tons of questions. How can I get it? How can I download it? Where is Lighthouse? I don't find it in the app gallery. The thing is, it's only available for Malaysian users and it will only work with the Malaysian app gallery. And if you download the Google Apps from the Malaysian app gallery, it's not going to work with the Lighthouse app or MicroG and then just downloading the official um, Google Apps from APK Pure, Aurora Store or any other uh, app store that provides those official Google applications. So that's a short, short, short summary. And uh, yeah, if you have some nice ideas, some interesting stuff uh, talking about uh, Google Play Store installation on Huawei, actually, I really don't want to mess with this so much, but so many people asked me uh, because I'm testing the Mate 50 Pro right now. Eh, show me the Google apps, show me the Lighthouse app. It's not going to work here. So this is why I'm not showing it to you. But if you have some other yeah, tips and tricks how to get YouTube and uh, uh, Google Play Store and uh, Google Maps with login support and so on working on the Mate 50 Pro besides what I was talking today here, then write it down in the comment section. But that's everything for this short little video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.